Hello, hello, welcome to Plus Equal. Today we'll continue completing tutorials for LEGO Microgame that Unity provides us. And if you remember, in the last tutorial we ended up in loading tutorial number 3 to activate the elevator. So let's go and press tutorial 3, activate the elevator. Here, bam! This will open probably another scene. And now we have the tutorial to activate the elevator. Let's in this tutorial we will activate the elevator so the player can access the upper level of the game. Let's start to begin. Okay. Yeah, that is the, the elevator, but we need an elevator brick. In this Unity project, you can add different functionality and mechanics to your game just by building with Lego behavior bricks. Just like components give Unity game objects specific functionality. Behavior bricks give you objects in your game different behaviors. You can use them to quickly create a custom experience for players to explore. Behavior bricks and the brick connecting system aren't standard in Unity. They've been created especially for this microgame. You will explore what they can do in this tutorial. Let's start by helping the player access the upper level. Add an elevator brick in the project window, select the elevator brick and drag it into the scene. So is on the same. Now enable brick building. We need to press this button here. Okay, it's done. Next. Make the platform an elevator. Let's grab this and let's put it let's put it here. Yeah. Okay, seems good. Next. Enter play mode. Okay, it's a deal. Let's go. Okay, so yeah, we in the last tutorial we needed to complete this. And now we have the elevator up and running. Let's go up. Very nice. Nice job! We did complete the first level here and uh, as they say we can quit now. And they are telling us to add a trigger to the elevator. So they say that uh, when we, you turn the platform into an, an elevator you use the first kind of behavior brick, the action bricks. Action bricks make an object in your game perform a particular action. You can also add a yellow trigger brick to the platform. Triggers determine when the object performs its action. A touch trigger will activate the elevator when the player moves onto the platform. Yeah, so it's basically a, a trigger that we'll put here. I don't know if you, you, if you are aware of that. It's kind of a box, imagine an invisible box. And when you enter the box, it will activate this behavior just as the last brick and we will go up. So we need to get the, here from the Lego behavior bricks, we need to get the touch brick. Touch. No, no, sorry, the touch trigger. So here is the touch trigger and we will drag this into the scene. Just like that. Boom. You need to press again to, to put it in. In, in place. Now we can enter play mode. And we can save, yeah, it's better to save. Control S. And let's go again. I just want to see the functionality. So, you see that the elevator now is not moving up and down because he is waiting for us to step on it. And now it goes up and down. So basically the yellow box that we put there is activating uh, the blue one. And now it will be active. It's done. Let's quit the play mode. Okay. Let's go to tutorial 4. Change the wind conditions. So in this part of the tutorial 
we will change the win conditions. Let's press start. Sometimes we don't need to read all the text if we are expecting some stuff to, uh, to happen. So they are telling us to select the green behavior brick. Is this one. You can see the trophy there, probably the condition brick. To, to win the game. Review the win brick. Yeah, win brick. So when select select the yellow behavior brick. Oh, okay. But let's read a, about the win brick. This behavior brick is a win action brick. It makes it possible for the player to win the game. When you combine the win brick with a trigger, you can define what the player needs to do to complete the game. These are the win conditions. If no win conditions are set, the player will win the game as soon as it starts. Yeah, makes sense. So let's press the yellow one. And this is uh, the touch trigger. Note, uh, triggers bricks won't work without action bricks. Okay, that is important. So let's press next. Delete the touch trigger brick. They are telling us to go into edit and delete. Usually what people do is press delete on the keyboard, but okay. Okay, it's deleted. Next. Add a pickup trigger. Okay, pick up trigger is this one. I will add it here, connect it here, and put next. Let's enter play mode. So now you can see that uh, here our objective is to collect all the pickups instead of exploring uh, how far can you go into the level. So we changed the condition to win the game. Now we need to get the pickups in order to win the game instead of just get to the end. So let's be careful now and get all of them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh. nice. And bang! When you collected all the pickups that we needed, uh, the game ended because we changed the condition for that. Also, the crystals in this level all have pickup action bricks attached to them, so that's why you can collect them as you play the game. That's important. We can quit play mode. Okay, let's. They are telling us to change the instruction text, so we can select the win action brick. Is this one? To reveal the component, we can press the little arrow. Oop. So now you can see the components inside, we can just press next. They are telling us to change the instruction text. So, for example, the title we can change to collect all the crystals. And the details we can put explore the level to find The 13 crystals. They are just uh, teaching us how to change the text that will appear in game. You can press next and you can enter play mode again. And now you can see that our text here updated. So we have collect all the crystals and explore the level to find the 13 crystals. So that's very nice and it still updates, what is very good. We don't need to go until the end because we are pretty sure that this will work. We just change the text so we can quit. And now we can go to the enemy part. So in the first video I made tutorial 1 and 2. In this one I think I will stick with 3 and 4. And probably in the next one 5 and 6 if it's the case. So guys thank you a lot for watching. Hope you are hope you guys are learning something new with these little tutorials. But uh, mostly I hope you guys are having fun messing up with the Lego Lego system. Um and yeah, you can go around and mess up with the game. Don't worry about that. So in the next tutorial we'll go and add enemies into the game. So I can't wait to see you there in the next tutorial. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't yet. Remember to stay safe and I see you there. Thank you for watching.